Good afternoon. I'm Brad Chandler with Keller Williams. I'm a realtor here in Yakima. I'm sitting here with Brian Jones from Cornerstone Home Lending um, to talk about what people uh, need to do to apply for a loan, how to qualify for your loan. I know, Brian, a lot of people think it's a difficult, big process. What do people need to know that they need to do if they're going to apply for a loan or to be ready to buy a loan? Yeah, the, you know, the process is actually very simple. And uh, what I have found over the 22-year period that I've been in this industry is that many individuals typically wait right at the time that they see something that they like. And that's actually really not the time to start with your mortgage lending. And so what I try to suggest with people is that you start start 60 to 90 days ahead of time so that we can work through the process with you. If there's any erroneous information on your credit report, we can take care of those things at the time without you being in the midst of the process. Okay. And now I know when I applied for my loan with you, you were my lender in my first house, uh, the, I didn't qualify the first time. We had to go fix yeah. stuff. Is that something you see a lot and help people through? Absolutely. And that's the beauty of my industry of what I am able to do. Uh, we work with companies like National Credit Care to help people get to a place to where they can fix their credit. If it's something beyond my uh, scope of understanding on your credit report, then I can ship you over to a National Credit Care and they can help you get to where you need to be. Okay. And what can people do to help get their credit score up and make sure they're ready? buy their home before the call you. Number one, pay your bills on time. <laughs> <laughs> pay your bills on time. That's the best thing you can do. If, in fact, you can clean up any collections or anything ahead of time, that's wonderful. Uh, medical, there's something with medical that a lot of times people, they um, they think that I can't buy a house because I have medical collections. But, you know, FHA, up to $5,000, they don't even consider the medical. And many times, even more than that. Yeah. So one thing, Brian, that I get asked a lot, and I always have to say, hey, that's a lender question, is FHA, VA, conventional, it's a different loan programs out there. Can you break those down about what the requirements are for each one and how people would know which loan's best for them or what they can expect with each type of loan? Absolutely. Um, there are various types of loans out there, and, uh, you know, it's standard anymore. When people ask about the first-time homebuyer program, what are they actually asking? Many individuals that ask that question are relating to years ago, the FHA loan was actually called the first time home buyer loan because it offered three and a half percent down payment monies. And at that time, you couldn't get a three and a half percent down payment conventional loan. So it became known as the first time home buyer loan. There is another first time home buyer loan in the marketplace now. It is a three percent down conventional transaction. And so you can buy with only three percent down uh, on the conventional side also. But I would say this, you know, the difference between FHA and conventional, people go, why do I have to go FHA or why should I go conventional? It really comes down to your credit score. And if you can keep your credit score in good right standing, a 680 and above is a really good score for a conventional transaction. Other than that, you probably, you know, when you start dipping down under the 660, you're probably going to end up in an FHA transaction. All right. That's good to know. And on VA loans, how do those differ from, I mean, you obviously have to be a veteran, but is there other Absolutely. differences in there? Or yeah, the VA that? loan's a wonderful loan for you veterans out there. I'm here to tell you, but we want to thank you for your service, number one. But I'll tell you, when it comes to the VA transaction, what a blessing to be able to buy with zero down, no down payment. There still is closing cost, and we have to keep that in mind. But, you know, that's why you and I, it's important for us to talk yep. because... I can share with you, Brad, this is where you need to write up the offer, ask for some seller contributions. Depending on how much money they have, uh, we can actually get them in the house for a very minimal amount of money down. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you. So one of the questions I get asked, too, is on the difference of financing a stick-built home uh, versus a manufactured home. Is that something you could touch on uh, real quick, just about the financing of a manufactured home? Absolutely. I get asked that question all the time, you know. From the standpoint of manufactured home and stick built home, it's a question I ask from the moment you and I start working mm -hmm. together. Yep. Because I need to know how to price the loan because manufactured homes is a slightly higher risk to all investors. And because of that, the pricing is slightly different. So it's vitally important that I know what type of a home that your clients are looking for. And through that process, um, you know, sometimes people wonder do we have financing for manufactured homes? And the answer is yes. We not only have it for conventional side, but we also have it for the FHA side, which means that even though you have suffered a little in your credit score and maybe you had a bankruptcy 24, 36 months ago, 
The beauty of FHA, it allows you to get back into the market after bankruptcy in a shorter period of time of 24 months. So, so in as little as two years after bankruptcy, uh, you can start home shopping again. Like I said, start working through that process with me, with Brian, on uh, getting you into that home. So now you guys have some ideas for when uh, you're ready to apply for your loan, you're ready to start looking. Uh, you can give me a call. You can give Brian a call. Uh, we'll walk you through the process. My number is 509-312-0921. Brian, how do they get a hold of you? Best way to get a hold of me is cell phone. I'm always available. Area code 509-930-4299. All right. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome.